Fabiola, I mean, but what, what, what about this? Bo both Jan and the president referred uh. to the importance of knowledge, of blue sky research, you could put it another way. So Is that I, why we fund research? So I, I see uh, three, main, uh, three main reasons to, to fund blue sky, blue sky research. Reason number one, blue sky research is perhaps the one which mostly, it mostly stimulates ideas because it has no constraint. Uh, it, uh, it, um, um, it allows for uh, curiosity, creativity, ingenuity. And these are the foundations of breakthroughs and ideas and breakthroughs are the fuel of progress. Major breakthroughs came and still come from blue sky research like quantum mechanics, like Einstein relativity, things that seems to be completely you know, far away from practical life and completely abstract. The Higgs you know boson? The Higgs boson, which, uh, the Higgs boson, exactly. You know that, uh, that, that without, if you did not correct the, uh, the satellite signals for relativistic effects, our GPS in our car will accumulate a, a, an error of several kilometers every day. Are you saying that the GPS wouldn't be working without the, the Higgs GPS boson? Will, no, without, uh, without relativity, I'm saying. Now, okay. the Higgs boson, <laughs> the Higgs boson was just discovered there, there is a, a couple of years ago. Yeah. I don't know, I cannot tell you what breakthrough it will bring, but for sure it will bring one, because every time we make a step forward in fundamental knowledge, progress comes sooner or later. Second. By the way, I would like to, 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 uh, to remind people that in the Stack report, there is a very nice sentence that's saying that fundamental research is the bedrock for future innova innovation. Second, the so-called secondary benefits. Many people ask me, will the X boson change our life? And my answer is, it did already. Because in order to discover the X boson, we had to develop unprecedented particle accelerators that now are used for cancer treatment or food sterilization and many other applications. We had to develop uh, unprecedented devices that now are used for medical images. We had to develop vacuum technology used in solar panel, big data, uh, use of okay, big but data, etc. There, there might et cetera. be faster ways to get to those than to than an accelerator. Absolutely, yeah. there are, but, but blue sky research, but they are different. Blue sky research requires instruments that very often are not the same that yeah. you uh, pursue with, with applied and targeted and specific investment. And third element, very important, is what President Barroso was saying before. Knowledge, together with art, is the highest expression of human beings as clever beings. Since human beings, since, since, uh, since the human species is on Earth, Okay? It has demonstrated a strong need for exploration, knowledge, and art. And not funding knowledge and art because they don't bring us a piece of bread tomorrow means really denying and distorting the, 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 the nature, the, the true nature of, of, of humanity. This little, without this little exposure, we will not be here, and the universe will not be what it is. And it costed us one cappuccino per European citizen per year. <laughs> Uh, Met slagroom or not? <laughs> uh, yes. Serge, would you agree with this? I mean, I, you're in a different field, quantum mechanics. I mean, related but different. Yes, of course, I can, I can only agree with all what has been said by all the people who we spoke. We all agree. In, in, before me, I think uh, blue sky research is first of all try to satisfy the curiosity of man, and this curiosity has been there forever. And this is a value. This is something which has no economical value, but which makes life worth living. I, I will give you an, 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 an anecdote which tells that before the uh, LHC was built, the American tried to build a big accelerator in Texas, the SSC. And uh, uh, Steven Weinberg, who is a theoretical physicist, was testifying in front of the Senate, in the United States Senate, uh, to get the funding for this accelerator. And one senator asked him, what would be the use? Why, why should we spend the taxpayer money? Will this accelerator help uh, defend better the United States? And Weinberg answered, no, sir. It will not help defend it better, but it will make it worth defending more. Because, it, because it's the, the kind of knowledge you get from this kind of machine is, becomes part of, of the culture of mankind, and it's very important, I think, uh, Fabiola said that, and of course, fortunately, Europe took over because in spite of his very 
a nice statement. Weinberg did not convince the senators and they scrapped the, the SSC machine. And so uh, <laughs> the, the Higgs boson was <laughs> discovered in Europe for that reason. Uh, you, you ask also a question, is there a short track? Can we yeah. prevent? How, how, do, the, how do that is to say, question, it's all very well to, to yeah. talk about blue sky research, yes. but how do you get it quicker? But the the, the problem is that there is no short tracks. You know, uh, oh. uh, basic research is a bedrock of, of knowledge, and you don't know what kind of basic research will lead to applications. For instance, the, the people who discovered nuclear magnetic resonance just after the Second World War, we're just doing blue sky research to understand through this magnetic resonance signal what was going on inside matter. But they had no idea that one day the MRI machines would uh, look into your brains and be able to make diagnosis for illnesses or to understand how the brain works. And this is the same kind of physics. It was absolutely impossible to imagine that. The people who invented the lasers in the 1960s did not know that the laser would be used in fiber optics for the internet mm -hmm. communication and so on. It's, so if, if some uh, policymaker asks us what are the 10% of blue sky research that should be funded, if it is only 10% which will be useful, we are not able to say now which 10% it will be. Well, that sounds like advertising. You know, you, 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 advertisers never know, wh you know which 50% yeah, but, they want to fund. They but, just know that half of it's worth. But that's the truth. And I think so, so this is the second reason, of course, to... to to fund blue sky research because it is a bedrock of, bedrock of innovation. The third reason, I think, has to do with education. And I think you mentioned that point. It's the best test ground for educating young people. Right. And if you want to get young people into science, you have to motivate them. And you motivate them through the passion, through the need to understand things by curiosity. You cannot motivate a young a person by asking him to be on a goal-oriented project from the beginning. Okay. And I think it is essential, and if I want to leave a message here, I think we, the danger is that if we cut on the funding of research, the worst would be to cut on positions for young scientists throughout Europe. There is now in France, and I think in other countries, a lack of positions for young people. It is true in France, it is true, in, it is even worse in Italy. I think it's very bad in Spain. These countries have a mine of bright uh, minds who just want to go into research. And if you don't give them the possibility to start now, uh, it will be too late. If you lose a generation, and if you have a gap of 10 years without opening positions, it will be very hard to, to, okay. to start right. again.